Are you ready for the next generation of artificial intelligence? Introducing Kamala AI. Whether you're looking for circular reasoning, vague affirmations, or just a good old word salad, Kamala AI delivers. Hey Kamala, uh, what is AI? AI is kind of a fancy thing. It's of course lost two letters. Hey Kamala, how are you going to reduce inflation when you are president? Think about what that means. So Kamala, who's running the White House? <laughs> Kamala AI is for entertainment purposes only. It should not be used to solve complex problems, manage foreign policy, or pass the bar exam. Side effects may include confusion, prolonged pondering, and a significant increase in circular conversations. Kamala AI does not guarantee clarity, logical reasoning, or coherent thoughts. All statements made by Kamala AI are nonsensical and should not be taken as factual, literal, or legally binding. What's up, guys? Your boy Ben. He's say what you will about President Trump, but he is a man of his word. He is somebody who says what he means and means what he says. And Donald Trump, in one of his most famous lines, said during a MAGA rally, said, you know what? People don't like the way that I post on X, but um, we do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Right? And we're getting crowds like this. We were all over, over the last couple of weeks. We like to troll. We like to go the night before one of their primaries. We just... We do a little trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Bernie Sanders was very upset. It's Why would he? Called We Do a Little Trolling. It's called We Do a Little Trolling. Well, I'm here to uh, report joyously to you that mean tweets are officially back, boys. Boys, we are officially back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, some of the first series of mean tweets that we've gotten in the last four years. Remember, President Trump was banned. Uh, effectively, uh, right before he was forced out of office um, in 2021, President Trump got banned on uh, then known as Twitter. And we haven't had mean tweets, even though Donald Trump's account was reinstated like 18 months ago. We haven't had any tweets from President Trump. President Trump, the account kind of sat there. There was like a single post with his mugshot. Uh, but then then. It was only Elon Musk doing a live interview with President Trump in a Twitter spaces and an X spaces that brought Trump kind of back into the platform. And now Trump is back with abandon <laughs> and oblivion. Check this out. Here's, here's a, like an example of a post that's going thermonuclear viral being seen by 15 million people. So Kamala Harris says, uh, I'm going to help people buy new homes. I'm I'm really locked in. I'm ready to help people buy new homes. I'm going to give them twenty five thousand dollars to help with a new home down payment. Well, you know that's. Do you know how supply and demand works, you dirty communists? Like that's just going to increase uh, the price of every home by twenty five thousand dollars. Do you not understand? They don't. Un they really don't. They really truly do not understand. Donald Trump then quote tweeting her with this graphic showing that home prices have increased nearly 40% since Joe Biden and Kamala Harris took office. This is an effective strategy because Kamala Harris has been in office. And so she is to blame for all of the bad policies. She was the one, she clearly the only person who was like sentient during the last couple of uh, years. And so she is to blame for everything. How is how is she supposed to run on a, on, on the record of like, I'm going to fix everything when you're the problem in the first place. Kamala Harris, the leader of banning fracking in the United States. She fought especially hard for no fracking in Pennsylvania. People of Pennsylvania are smart. They, it would devastate the Commonwealth and they know it. They will vote for President Trump. Donald Trump going in on the hard text posts. Here we go, doing millions of views on these things. Now, uh, you think things are expensive now. It'll get 100 times worse than Kamala. Four years as president, under her plan, Kamala will uh, invest in Soviet style price controls. She'll abolish private health care, make California's ridiculous tax policies, the law of the land, meaning every American will be taxed at 80% of their income. If you want more cash and less tax, vote Trump. President Trump releasing this ad in conjunction with that. Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread cost 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. Mm, uh, Donald Trump has that pinned to his page. This is uh, the video that's pinned to the top of Donald Trump. So by the way, Donald Trump's gained some three or four million followers since hopping back on to X. 
So big time increase for President Trump's following back onto X. This is pinned with 16 million views, 43,000 reposts, 183,000 likes. So the engagement is absolutely skyrocketing for the president back on X. And he's like posting again, all caps, all caps, tweets, all caps, post persecution of political opponent. I agree. Thank you. Together we'll make America uh, and trolling Kamala Harris, doing like direct quote tweets of Kamala Harris. And we love this energy. Comrade Kamala will obliterate Social Security and Medicare, giving it away to millions of illegal immigrants who are infiltrating our country. Again, it's important for you to see these numbers, 125, 195,000 likes, 37,000 reposts. It's such, a, such an unbelievably powerful tool for the president, and he is using it effectively once again. Donald Trump saying that Kamala Harris stole his policies, no tax on tips. Again, 10 million views on this video. Will you? Harris not only supports taxing service workers' tips, news reports confirm Biden and Harris have weaponized the IRS to confiscate your tip money. Harris and Biden have literally unleashed the IRS to harass workers who receive tips. And they just may be coming to your house next. Only President Trump has a plan that ends all taxes on service workers' tips. President Trump. He's on your side. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this. Sharp. It's just sharp. It's all, it's all coming together, man. We've been asking and begging for this for quite a while. There will be no future under Comrade Kamala Harris. Call her Kami Kamala. Come on. Just call her Kami. Not Comrade. Kami Kamala. Come on, guys. And stop with the dangerously liberal stuff. It's so stupid. How has everyone found? How has everybody been found so flat-footed? On, na on nailing Kamala Harris. It's like the easiest layup there is. Call her Kami Kamala. That's it. Kami Kamala. Just say the word. It's a dirty word. Kami Kamala. Say it. There'll be no future under Comrade Kamala Harris because she will take us to nuclear war. Never been respected by the tyrants of the world, Donald Trump. Back with the all caps, baby. Kamala and her handlers are trying to make it sound like I'm an incumbent president so they can blame me for the failures of the past four years. No, it's their failure, and it's one of the worst presidencies in history, and she's definitely the worst vice president. I mean, yes, true, and Donald Trump has been using his timeline to go through and like uh, effectively quote tweet Kamala Harris with his, with his ad. So here's the Robert Kennedy uh, Jr. reposting uh, Sean Ryan. Here did a spectacular interview uh, reposting Robert F. Kennedy. And Tulsi, and so on. Some of our favorite, some of our favorite ads running here uh, for Donald Trump. Here's another one where he quote tweets Kamala Harris saying, "As president, I will never waver in the defense of America's security and ideals because of the enduring struggle between democracy and tyranny. I know where I stand." Is this, does this even sound like Kamala Harris? Right? It's like does this even sound like none of this even sounds like Kamala Harris. And here we go. Uh, and I know where the United States belongs. I know this is what's crazy. I know where I stand. What's that? What, yeah, I mean, where you stand is the worst border policy in American history. Biden made Kamala Harris border czar to fix immigration. First, she ignored it. Do you have any plans to visit the border? I, I, at some point. Then she just lied. The border is secure. 10 million illegal immigrants, migrant crime out of control, fentanyl kills thousands. We have a secure border. Kamala Harris failed, weak, dangerously liberal. So stop it with the dangerously liberal stuff. Call her com, com call her Kami Kamala. Who, like who is doing that? Like whatever, you know, whatever. I, <laughs> maybe maybe someday I'll uh, uh, you know I'll just get so sick of it. I'll just like start running presidential campaigns. So, like how how easy it is to actually do this kind of work with people who are this foolish and cowardly. And uh, Kamala Harris now saying that she can't even sit for an interview, can't even sit for an interview without her emotional support communist, Tim Walls. Tim Walls, creepy weirdo with the jazz hands and the fetish for horses and um, a bunch of other really dark and awful stuff. But boy, I can't wait to come out. Dirty, stolen valor scum. Yeah, so this guy is, uh, Kamala Harris can't even sit down for an interview, softball interview with CNN. And Donald Trump is back here on X posting and you're black pilling no nah, man no nah, man we are so so very very back donald trump back on x 
proud and happy to report to you, ladies and gentlemen. Um, and Kamala Harris can't even do an interview by herself on CNN. <laughs> we out here. It's your boy Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. Follow Trump on X. Thank you, Elon.